and then I like I got scissors because you don't want curly hair to turn into like a triangle at the bottom. Do I look like a Gen Z? Happy Friday! We are headed to the hair salon. This is India from the future. I've actually already been to the hair salon, but we're gonna go back in time. I'm gonna have my hairdresser walk you through the haircut that she gives me, what to tell your hairdresser to get a haircut like mine if you're interested, and then also she's gonna walk you through um, the color she mixes for my hair. So let's go back in time and let's go to the salon. First things first, um, I don't know if you saw my stories. I did. Ma'am? I don't really know what happened. Was it ma'am? What do you think you're doing? I have a haircut literally tomorrow and I just took kitchen scissors and cut my own hair. This is your reminder not to let intrusive thoughts win. <laughs> I was like, watching TikTok videos where they had like these cute like little swoopy bangs and then I like, I got scissors and I don't really know why. I don't really know what happened. It's honestly not that bad. <laughs> it's really not that bad. What do you call my highlights if you had to pick a name for it? Baby lights. Baby lights. So you usually do a partial, which is gonna be the front of your hair all the way back to the, your crown. And that's gonna kind of lay over like a veil over the back. So if you don't wanna get a full highlight and you don't wanna bleach all of your hair every time, you can do a partial highlight, which is what you've been doing. Yep. I do baby lights because I think it looks like the most natural and blended. Um, so basically it's a lot of really fine highlights packed in. You have a really nice natural base. So your natural base is kind of the like dimension that we, we keep in there. Okay. Um, just that way it looks like natural. Like it just yeah. grows off in your head like that. What kind of blonde shade would you call it? Cause people ask me that a lot. Um, like, is I it like a... like we do like a creamy blonde. We don't go too ashy. We don't go too warm. Okay. It's kind of right in between, which I think is really flattering on you. And it's flattering on most people because a lot of people always want to go ashy, but in reality, when there's no yellow in the hair, there's nothing for the light to reflect on. When there's no yellow, but like even when the sunlight or like just a light in a building, it, there's nothing to reflect, so it looks very flat and dull. So you definitely want to see like a little bit of yellow in the hair. People want to know like your color. I would say lift to like a level nine, baby lights. You do a partial, but that doesn't matter. It's a highlight. Yep. Um, and then we tone it kind of creamy blonde, which is not too warm, not too cool, kind of in between. Okay. That way you can still see a little bit of yellow in the hair so the light has been to reflect off that. Let's do it. Who looks good from this angle? That's so annoying. I'm happy for you. Um, there we go. Yep, fabulous. Ooh, ah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I want to. <laughs> I'm gonna do my little secret trick whenever I have my blonde blondes. If they have more than an inch grow out, I will use, this is permanent color, but you can use demi-permanent. I just really love the way that this one looks. I use this on all of my clients. Um, when they have more than an inch grow out, I will do a base bump, or we call it a color express. You pretty much do equal parts. I'll do half an ounce of 901, and then half an ounce of 90. And I'll probably do 15 volume on her because she is pretty much like a dirty blonde. She doesn't need to be lifted more than one level. So how much are we thinking about taking off? Um, a good hefty inch and a half. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to pull your hair forward and I'm going to let you tell me like what an inch and a half is to you. Because everyone has a different, like their own version of an inch. <laughs> okay. Exactly. She's like, what's an inch and a half for you? Yeah. I love that. Everyone's inch is different. Um, hang on, let's see. I don't know, like what, like what is that? That's an inch, yeah. Yeah. I mean, just a little bit above that, okay. like an inch and a half. So just like clean it up, like get it, get it nice and like thick on the ends again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. Perfect. You, I keep right in the middle, right? No. No. Oh my gosh, do I look like a Gen Z? She's stuck in 2008. I can't. Okay. I refuse to do a middle part. Also, just feel like it doesn't fit my face. I don't think you can. Absolutely could. She can do a symmetrical. Anything. So 
Oh my gosh, really you are really doing anything. Really doing I know. I'm so tired. She needs to try yeah. to get apart. <laughs> All right, so if someone is coming, they're going to their hairdresser, they want a somewhat similar haircut to me, where not not the kitchen scissor haircut, but the haircut that you get, yeah. um, where they want to have like fullness in their hair, okay. but they want to add a little bit of layer so they can curl up. I really want to impress your hairdresser. This is, yeah, this is what I would say. Okay, so a lot of curly-headed girls really like to keep the perimeter of their hair really strong, so we're going to clean up the ends. So I would definitely tell your hairdresser what an inch is to you because some people think that, like, this is an inch. <laughs> Are you going to see that? Um, and then, you know, to the hairdresser, an inch is like, you know, this. Yeah. Okay. And I think that's sometimes where things get, like, misconstrued. Um, so a lot of curly head people like to keep it really strong. But then everything from here, which is your parietal ridge, this all, naturally because of, of gravity, this is all going to fall down, which is good. But this is really where you need the layers up in here. You okay. don't really have to layer all of this, but you do need to layer everything above here. Okay. That's going to give you the, yeah, the body yeah. and the, the curls. So yeah. everything above the bridal ridge, I would definitely like layer. And then I do think that we need to go back over this a little bit. Maybe just shape them up a little bit. <laughs> and then that. She's like, and then we need to fix that. And then um, you need to, I'm confiscating your kitchen scissors from here on out. <laughs> Something in my head was just like, I don't know, like, Cut your cut your hair. Yeah. <laughs> cut your hair. We're just gonna do like an inch off the bottom and we're just gonna lightly layer it, long layers. Because you don't want curly hair to turn into like a triangle at the bottom, basically. Yes. So that's what we're trying to avoid here. Yes. Um and that's why we're cutting it this way. Okay. Now where is this mysterious piece? Where is this mysterious piece idea? <laughs> Is that it? She's around town. I think that she's around town. I think this is the one I need. I don't know. That's good if you can't find it. Maybe I need a good job. I'm coming for your job. Okay, you know, honestly, <laughs> it really wasn't cut that bad. I'm gonna be honest. I'm actually, you know, not not that upset. I will have the products that I use to style my hair linked down below and I will say it usually takes me three washes to get my curls back to where I want them to be. I need to do a bond treatment, a deep hair mask, like all the things, but I'm actually pleasantly surprised with the amount of curl that I got today. And biggest of thank yous to Jenny, the star of the show today for making this video with me. Uh, I will have her Instagram linked down below and she is in Marietta, Georgia if you are interested in getting your hair done with her.